Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys my axle. So most axles that you find are a 1.9 inch outside diameter Schedule 80 pipe that's been powder coated. For instance, the Rogue axle, which we'll show on the screen here, costs about $125 plus shipping and is literally the exact same thing as this bar. It's just been powder coated. Now mind you, the Rogue powder coat is nice, but is it worth $125? When it came time for me to acquire an axle, the answer was a resounding no. What I ended up doing was I went through a buddy of mine that does a lot of fabrication and I just asked how much it would cost to get about seven feet of Schedule 80 pipe. So if you go and you look up Schedule 80 pipe, I think that if you're buying it in bulk and I just bought a seven foot section off of some other implements that he was making, it ended up costing me about $40 or so for the actual Schedule 80 pipe. That's gonna vary depending on where you actually buy it. So after you've acquired the bar stock, all that's really left to purchase are axle collars, first off, which are different than barbell collars. And you also need to get some sort of way to keep the weights from sliding all the way to the center of the bar. I end up going to McMaster Car, which is, if you've never heard of it before, McMaster Car is the greatest website of all those little things that you're not sure where to get them. So this is the McMaster Car website. If you type in clamp on collar, it will bring you right to all the different options you have. You can see you have two-piece shaft, shaft collars, hinge shaft collars, all sorts of different options, all sorts of different uses. For instance, I use a hinge shaft collar inside of my Husafell stone to keep plates loaded on the pin that's in there. So we'll go to shaft collars and you see we have a little bit more options to go. Clamp on, sorry, clamping shaft collars, go ahead and select that and what you need to do is come in here and pick your pipe size. You can either scroll through or you can sort. So I wanted clamping shaft collars and again you want to go with the 1 and 15 16 and they're just $15 a piece so you'll need two of those so go ahead and add two of those to your cart. So you've got your pipe, you've got your pipe collars that are going to hold the weights from going towards your hand and you can adjust these to whatever you want. So, so if you're a, a bigger guy and you have a wider grip for your deadlift and you wanted to push your collars out, you could do that with just the turn of this little set screw that's on these split collars. The one thing that I did in addition is I bought these plastic caps. You can actually find and purchase these particular ones and I'll show you where those are at on the McMaster Car website as well. One thing you'll notice is that they come in a pack of 20 or 25 so you'll have a whole bunch extra. Eventually they're going to fall out and these caps will fit in the end of all of those. These are actually the exact same plugs that Rogue ships with all of their Schedule 80 parts so their axles, their plate pins, everything. So type in snap in round plug go down to the snap and round plugs, you'll notice that there's two different types that you get to choose from. The first type is the one that you want. It's just a, a polyethylene plastic. And the second one, they don't stay in, especially when you're dropping an axle or something, they just pop out right away. Uh, I know the other ones pop out too, but they at least, the polyethylene ones will stay in a little bit. So go to the two inch, you'll see that there's two different ones. You want the ones that go to the 1.9 ID. And these are a 100% optional thing. You do not need these, but for me, I just like them. The axle. So the bar cost about $40 or so. The material that I purchased this order from was actually used to make my farmer handles as well as my axle bar. And it cost me a total of $80 for everything. So I'm just cutting it in half and saying that the axle cost half and that the uh, farmer handles that cost the other half. So $40 for the actual bar stock itself. Then we're looking at 15-ish dollars a piece per collar. And these are a really high quality collar. You can buy a less fancy collar. You can just go to Lowe's and get pipe clamp. 
Basically, you just need something that's strong. I wanted one thing that was gonna last for the life of the bar. And then the third thing, 100% optional, are those plug covers. So with all that being said, the grand total that I spent was $70 plus 15, so like, 75 probably 80 80 dollars all in if you look at the price of a brand new rogue bar it's over a hundred dollars so it doesn't seem like it's that big of a difference but you still got to pay the shipping it's something that you just haven't considered so if you're looking to make your own axle bar you can do it yourself for about eighty dollars all in and you have something that you made you can even do it custom so if you want to make yours longer or if you want to make it shorter or you want to make a couple of them all at once you could save some money and the total weight of the bar is right at 25 pounds and my axle i had it cut to be 84 inches long all right so that's my video and that's my axle if you can go ahead and subscribe up here and give me a like on this video and if you click up here you'll get to my training log or click down here for some more video reviews of equipment Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.